Good evening, everyone. I'm Archit Sashadri. Today is Sunday, July the 10th. This is We On. Let's take a look at your top stories this hour. Tensions are high in Jammu and Kashmir after a top militant of Hezbollah Mujahideen was killed on Friday. One police officer died after protesters pushed his vehicle into a river. The death toll has now climbed to 19. 200 others are hurt. Bangladesh's government has banned Peace TV Bangla, a channel run by controversial Islamic preacher Zakir Nayib. This move comes after it was reported his speeches inspired some of the Dhaka Cafe attackers. The son of former Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden has threatened revenge for his father's death. Reports say Hamza bin Laden sent an audio recording to continue Al-Qaeda's fight against the United States. Maldives may bring back the death penalty for the first time in 60 years. Reports say the government could execute a convict, 22-year-old Hussein Ahmed. He's charged with the murder of an MP in 2012. This move comes after President Abdullah Yameen refused to intervene in Hussein's case. At least 270 people have died in South Sudan's capital of Juba. Reports indicate that gunfire was heard near army barracks and a UN base. The violence has continued there for the past three days. Australia's Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull has declared victory for the ruling Conservative Party in the general elections. The votes are still being counted, but early Saturday, the leader of the opposition party, Bill Shorten, conceded defeat. And that is our bulletin for right now. We'll keep you updated with news from across the globe on our mobile, digital and social media platforms. Thanks again for joining us. Have a great day.